Hey, what's up, guys? It's Bulbous Prime. Today, we're going to react to My Little Pony, Fetcher's Magic, Season 8, Episode 23, Sounds of Silence. Let's begin. I can't believe you two are going on a friendship quest. This is amazing. What do you mean, Twilight? We've been on one together before. Exactly. This is the first time the map has teamed up the same ponies for a second quest. Yeah. That is special. <laughs> Must be because we're extra good at solving friendship problems. I hope so, because it looks like this one might be a little tricky. You're going to the peaks of peril. The peaks of the peril? Peaks of the, the, the peril? Ah, oh, it's just a name. It doesn't mean anything. Like how clouds get away from the clouds and the crystal empire is made of crystal? Fair point. Hmm. So, what yeah, can you tell point. us about the place, Twilight? Only what Rockhoof told me. Back in his day, no pony knew much about the Peaks of Peril, except for the legend on this ancient shield. Whoa. It says a group called the Kirin used to live there, known for their kindness and truth speaking. Now we know why the map calls us. <laughs> Unfortunately, other creatures also live there. The Neric, fearsome beasts of pure fire. Oh, oh fire? You should go instead of me, Twilight. Sorry, Fluttershy. Blanks don't lie. <laughs> yeah, but don't I'm lie. I'm sure the two of us will get that friendship problem solved no matter what kind of creature has it. Or should I say hips don't lie? Jesus. Whoa, backwards. Back, 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 back. Oh. This no pony else is going out as far as we are. Maybe they know something we don't. Now, Fluttershy, oh. I've told you a dozen times, what the? there's nothing to be scared Oh my god, what the heck was that? I'm sorry. Who are you? You really startled us. Oh, it's just that I'm not used to seeing any pony taking the train to the end of a line. The final oh. destination. The last stop. We get the picture. Why? Okay, we get the picture. Nothing but uncharted terrain and wild beasts out that way. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay, okay. Just get out of here. Well, maybe there's a little something to be scared of. You gotta learn how to use your wings properly. Oh, oh, oh. Stupid flies. Those must be the peaks of peril. Tough going, huh, Fluttershy? Where'd she go? Oh. Where'd she go? Oh. Stupid, stupid flies. Don't know my hat. What are you doing? There. That should be enough flowers to keep your tree cozy. Fluttershy! What are you doing? This is no time for visiting varmints. We're on a friendship quest, remember? Yes, but actually... Come on! We're burning daylight! I know. But what I found out is that... Now we gotta get up that peak! I figure if we use some rope and elbow grease, we can make it up half... Elbow Jack! Can you please listen to me? Okay. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is, the squirrel told me a shortcut they take to the Kirin village. Oh, okay. Never underestimate Flutter Shy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Flutter Shy. I suppose I got a little too caught up in the adventure. That's all right. If you hadn't come back to get me, I probably would have talked to the squirrels all day. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I hope that's not a lyric. <gasps> Hello? If you have any friendship problems, we're here to help. 
Hello? Are you oh, deaf or something? We're from Equestria, and we're flying tickled to meet y'all. Uh. So, uh, what are your names? You're not talking. Remember? What? Maybe they don't understand us. Yeah. Do you understand Honish? If you do, then oh, why do you talk? Why do you all talk? Speak? Why? Don't or won't. You Will don't you or won't. Us for a moment? You have to ask yes or no questions or they won't answer. Like talking to Angel Bunny? Not exactly. I can always tell what Angel is feeling, but these hearing me don't show anything. Well, how are we gonna solve a friendship problem if none of them will tell us what it is? Okay, what the heck's going on? No one's talking. Nothing. They're never communicating. It's like they're deaf this or something. Karen are quieter than an apple blossom on snowfall. Yeah. Still, there's gotta be something to make them speak. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful day, ain't it? Uh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Now you say, who's there? I'll say it. Who's there? Police. Police who? Police who? who? Police, say something. <laughs> I get it. Police. 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 Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, Because I'm tight. <laughs> Don't any of y'all talk? Wait. Now we're getting somewhere. A dark speech of path that leads Ooh. into unknown territory? I'll tell you what, Sugar Cube. You stay and see if you can get anything out of these here cubes. I'll go try and find one that talks. Be careful. And watch out for Nerex! Hi. Hello. Hello. Who's there? Yeah. Oh, it's a squirrel. Yeah. Oh my god. Who are you? Oh, have you seen a cure in the talks? No. Any idea where I should look? Oh, for the love of Celestia, can't you just say something? Gotcha! Wait, sorry, what? Sorry, but that was too good. Oh, you don't know how much I miss jokes. Hilarity. Am I pronouncing that right? Some words I haven't said in a will? Wild, wild. Hi, I'm Autumn Blaze. Autumn you Blaze? You just arrived, and perhaps you're tired or hungry or reflective and want to sleep and eat and journal, which you should do, of course. But first, oh, oh, a joy to talk with another creature. It's been so long. You must tell me everything about you. There's so much to say, so much to do. Oh, look at me. I'm going on, and you haven't seen. I mean, how do you say what? Um, what am I saying? Of course you haven't. So just, uh, yeah, I will just follow me. Whoa, you talk a lot. That was something, all right. Yeah. She talked a lot. The way the light shimmers off everything, like, like it all suddenly woke up the moment you saw it, and you realized maybe the water and the mountains and the forest and the, yes, the rainbow and the stars in the sky are all looking back at you thinking the same thing, that we are a part of the everything. That maybe there's just one thing, and we are all it. I was gonna say it's pretty, but yeah. <laughs> and this is just the first stop on a journey of amazing things to see, smell, tiptoe through. Oh, I haven't been able to share all of this with any pony in forever since they all took that vow of silence. So it's a lot for me to, you know, process, process, that deal with. Whoa there, vow of silence? That's, uh, that's why they asked me to leave. I hope it's not a sore subject, but you mind explaining why y'all went quiet in the first place? Yeah. It's a long story. You'd rather not talk about it? No. I don't. I'd rather see. Oh, no. There we go. So she's saying about them. I can't believe it. No pony should give up feeling their feelings just to keep from getting angry. 
that's what I said. Yeah, that's... But, you know, when I started talking again. Oh, I bet this here's the problem that Fluttershy and I came to help y'all with. Really? Who's Fluttershy? Oh, did you name your shadow? Mine's called Silhouette Gloom of the Sundown Lands. <clears throat> Right. No, she's a well, pony. I'm thinking if like we just her, don't talk except to the she's other a Pegasus. Humans, we can get him to welcome you back proper like. Maybe even convince him to take your cure. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, just one small thing. The antidote for my anecdote, it's gone. What? There's gone. No cure left? I used the last of the false breath flowers to make it, and I, I haven't seen them bloom since. <sighs> well, this wouldn't be a friendship quest if it was easy. I'm gonna start by getting your friends to welcome you back. You know, between you and me, I'm not sure she's gonna convince them. No. But I hope she does. Did she just talk to that twig? I figured out the friendship problem. Me too. Go ahead. <laughs> Bet that's a problem the Kira never had. <laughs> no. Anyhow, we gotta get them all talking again. Oh, no, 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 no! We can't ever let that happen! Why? I thought you said you figured out the friendship problem. Was something lost in translation? The Kirin are usually peaceful and kind. But when they get mad, they turn into Myrix, creatures in the fire and vengeance. Oh. <laughs> that seemed less scary when it was in a song. The last time we all argued, they got so angry, they accidentally destroyed their whole village. So the Kirin decided to make sure it would never happen again. But that's no reason to stop talking. Yes, it is. Fire is dangerous, especially in a forest like this. Or think of all the animals it could hurt. Not if they don't turn into fire-breathing Neeric in the first place. And how can we be sure that won't happen? Oh, no. There's gotta be a better way oh, to no. give it up all your feelings. Applejack, you're not listening. Because you're not talking any sense. Um, what are they doing? Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Maybe they got worried because we were arguing with each other. Hey, put, put, put this down. Put we're me down. We're having a normal, civil hey. disagreement. What are you doing? Honest. Stop. Maybe they're gonna cook us? Uh, oh no. Stream of silence. If we hit that water, we'll never be able to talk or No, 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 please, please. What? Whoa. Oh. It's alright. I think I know this one. And she's trying to help. Well, yeah. Can't have silence the only friend who will speak to me. She talks? Yes. You have no idea. Fluttershy, meet Autumn Blaze. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you for that, um, wall of fire. But I thought Nerex were dangerous when they're angry. How did you know you could control your temper? I didn't. Uh, I guess anger is like other feelings. It's not about having them, it's what you do with them. And giving up happiness to keep away anger is no kind of lie. I never thought of it that way. I can't imagine not being able to talk to my animal friends. Yeah. Fern Flare, you used to love to laugh at everything. And Brainshine, you sung the most beautiful harmonies. Don't you miss it? I know you're worried about fighting, but friends can disagree without causing a ruckus. Everyone gets mad sometimes. Even Applejack and I argue. What? When do we ever argue? <clears throat> Just right now. And about the Kirin being silent? And right now! Oh. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> we don't always see eye to eye, but we never let that get in the way of our friendship. And if you're really angry, then take some time away to be a mimic where it won't hurt anybody. Yeah, like, or take some anger management classes. I, I think they're trying to say something. Okay, are you hungry? No. Oh no, some cure trapped in a well? No. Okay, baby. Baby fish. Big baby no, baby fish mouth. Like baby. Dead something? Anything? Singing? Oh, Let it go. Down. Worm? Curious. Oh. Would you excuse me? I'll be right back. Oh, that's better. You were saying. You were saying? Wait, you oh. wanna kiss her? You want the cure for the stream of silence! Oh, the cure. That's wonderful! Well, it would be nice if you 
could be. Oh. Except there aren't any flowers left to make the cure. Are you sure? Oh, beyond sure. Believe me, I've had a lot of alone time lately. I searched the entire forest 73 and a half times. Although I wonder if that second half could make a difference. Hmm, I wish she'd told us what kind of flowers she's looking for. They're called mole's breath. I've never heard of that. Uh, Muttershy? A little help? <coughs> he says he knows where to find mole's breath. Nice! Well, what are we waiting for? Lead the way! Oh, it was from when she built their... <gasps> That's what Bull's Breath looks like? Autumn Blaze never would have made it past the peaks to search here. I owe you an apology. Why? Because if your kindness hadn't made you stop to help the squirrels, we never would have found this here flower. And if your honesty hadn't convinced the king to talk, we wouldn't need to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's a good thing the map sent both of us, huh? I got it. We got <gasps> it. Found them? Where were they? Tell me everything and feel free to add complicated descriptions and comedic tangents. Oh, right. First things first. Yes! Alright, drink up. Bottoms up. Oh, I can talk. <laughs> I have so much to say. Autumn Blaze, you have given us a gift. The realization that anger is within us, but it is our choice how we let it out. We would very much like it if you came back to live with us. I can't say how much we've missed your beautiful voice. I'd skip that. And they complete the mission. Hi hook. Anyway, such a reaction on sounds of silence. So remember to like, subscribe to the bell, and smash it. And I'll see you guys next time.